Welcome back guys. Yep, welcome back to our channel. Channel. Oh, so you agree with the channel now? Ah. <laughs> welcome back to our channel. Once again, we missed you. Yep. And um, we're happy to be back. Yep. Um, yes, first of all, let's say thank you for all the love and all the support that we've been getting. Yes, thank you for the love and the yeah, support. Like, it's been really We're nice. not all great with children. Ah, we are not. Uh, you know. Thank they, you. They, they, they taught us. They taught us well. So thank yeah, you, thank you so much guys. Just keep on encouraging us and yeah. keep on commenting, nice comments so. Yeah, um, nice comments. Well, I think all the comments have been <laughs> nice comments. <laughs> Some pain to have been. No, 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 no. Nice comments, nice, nice comments. Nice comments, so yeah. But yeah, what are we talking about today, baby? Okay, so today we're going to be talking about something very serious, okay? Mm. Something of extreme importance, mm. okay? Something that can either make or break. Mm. Something that makes a difference mm. in a relationship or makes a difference in a marriage. Mm. And what is that? Conflict. Conflict. So today we're going to be talking about resolving conflict. Conflicts, rather, not mm -hmm. conflict. What did you say? Conflicts. Yes. So we're going to be talking about resolving conflicts, okay? Plural, because there will be many. Exactly, because there will be many. So resolving conflicts. Now, it's funny, this is what we're talking about. Because even, <laughs> even yesterday, we still had some conflict that we had to resolve. Yeah. Okay? But that's just it. If we didn't resolve it, maybe there would be no vlog. Exactly. If we didn't resolve it, we'd probably not we'd, be... We'd probably not maybe you'd be seeing separate vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, do, I'll, I'll do my own separate video. You know. Uh, but I'll just say, you guys, you know, forget about it. This woman is annoying me. <laughs> so, let's... <laughs> So let's start, okay? okay? Now, um, it's really large, okay? It's a really big yeah. topic and it's, it's really big. And what we want to do is um, we want to just share, obviously, like we said, we're going to be sharing our experience with you mm -hmm. and we're going to be sharing best practice as well, you know? So or might, what we've learned what from. We've learned from, from over the years, you know, because we, we do have experience, you know? What, in conflict or in marriage? In everything. <laughs> <laughs> in conflict, you know, and in managing the conflict, in trying to resolve the conflict, mm -hmm. okay? And, uh, you know, just to get back to, get back on track. Yeah. Right. So what we've decided to do is we're going to do as many parts as possible, okay? Because we want to touch on every area. Yeah. So, so, so at the moment, it's probably going to be, there's probably going to be a part two or a part three, if need be. If mm. need be. Like in Nollywood movies. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the queen of Nollywood. Uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not a Nollywood well, person. Okay. So, yeah, so part two, you know, and if, if you guys ask us one more, one more thing or ask us, some of some other things, yeah. you know, then we'll probably do another part. You know, yeah. just just want to share as much as possible. As possible. Okay. So over to you now. The first thing we want to do is we want to draw out the key facts. Okay. Let's draw out some of the key facts about conflict in a relationship, in a marriage. Okay. okay. The key facts, I think the major key fact is that in a relationship, in a marriage, you will have conflict. Mm. Like we said, it's conflict plurals yeah because you have to know that you know you're two different people coming from two different places two different backgrounds mm -hmm. even even some people might say oh well we're both nigerian or we're both christians or we're both whatever yeah at the end of the day you've grown up differently you've mm -hmm. had different lives like yeah. for example me and ayo ayo comes from a family of boys mm. i come from a family of girls well i've girl. got two sisters and one girl but obviously the two, way two sisters and one girl I mean, two sisters and one brother sorry so the way you know you do i dealt with conflicts with my sisters and my yeah. brother is totally different to the way i would deal with conflict with very my true I, I didn't even actually think yeah. about it that way no that's what i always think of like anytime we have an argument yeah. it's like because because you deal with boys yeah so, so growing know. up with boys you know there's a way i deal with stuff there's a way guys deal with stuff yeah you know do you understand and there's, and there's a way, way girls deal with stuff because obviously girls are dramatic girls are more emotional no, you can't make sweeping statements like that to the public you can't. No, no, it's, it's, it's just a normal no, family. No, not all girls are dramatic. Not all girls are emotional. What I'm saying is that like yeah, women, yeah, women yeah. come with drama. Okay, men come with drama too. Not necessarily drama, but you know. So women come with drama, okay? And now the way guys deal with stuff, it's just like if, if you have if you have, if you you have beef with your friend, 
if I have beef with one of my boys now, it might just be a case of, you know. Guy, I know like what you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, it might just. <laughs> Guy, I know no, like what you do. It might just be a case of, you, you know. Me. Yeah, you might just be like, what you did, man, it was not good. But nothing, we'll be boys, we're boys. We'll shake and just move. But what girls can do is, <laughs> I'm not talking to her. <laughs> You see, you see, girls will say, I'm not speaking to her. I'm not talking to her. Imagine it. Blah, 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 blah. So, that's already two aspects. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay? So, just to buttress your point, okay, your point is, uh, there will always be. There will always be. Exactly. Because you're not, the two pe- you're not two, the same, two same. You're not the same people. Yeah, you're not the same people. Mm-hmm. You're not the same people. And to buttress that point as well, I was going to say something now, but you just keep talking. To purchase that point that you're not the same people, what I, I wanted to say was, I'm still trying to remember. Uh, <laughs> so basically, it's, it's inevitable. If yeah. I remember, I'll come back to it. It's, it's ineb- inevitable. Mm-hmm. Okay? So you cannot avoid having this fight or having this conflict. Mm-hmm. It's just like how the Bible says that um, you shall have the tribulations, you shall have the trials. Okay? Mm-hmm. So God never promised that we would not have those things. However, what He said is that we would overcome. So now you will definitely have problems. And if you're having any problems or having fights um, or you feel like you quarrel too much or you fight or argue too much, the good news is it does not mean that you are not compatible. Mm. Okay? It doesn't mean that you've married the wrong person or you're with the wrong person. 90% of the time. Well. Well, sometimes it might mean that you No! Not- <laughs> no, no. But, no yeah. but I'm looking at the positive side. Yeah, yeah. So the good news is that Every family, every home, yeah. every relationship, every marriage, they go through conflicts. Yeah. So that, that, that's comforting for somebody. And if you don't go through conflict, conflict, I would even be worried. Yes, I'd actually be worried because, because it means that there's... You're there's, not telling the truth. You're pretentious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It means you're not telling the truth, basically. But it means there's some, there's some pretending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if, if you're truthful with each other, you know, those conflicts would happen. Mm. You know, you'd have those arguments. Yeah. You'd have you quarrel, you fight. Yeah. Longer Disagree. Not, longer, longer as it's not physical. Ah. No physical. No physical. Please. It doesn't even need Because as there. boys again, you know, growing up, you break bottle. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you remember boys? You break bottle. No, no, no. Ah! This one, that one. Do you understand? So, anyways, no physical. No physical. So, I think we, we've established the key fact. Mm-hmm. So, that's the key fact that we can underline and say. Um, fight or conflict in marriage in your relationship is unavoidable. Yeah, you will definitely have those definitely. conflicts. Okay, nice. Now the next thing we want to talk about then is some of the principles. Okay, the principles that we use or the principles that we've laid down for ourselves. Mm-hmm. The principles that help us every day or every time. Yeah, we have conflicts or we have any issues. Yeah. Okay, and um, do you want to touch on those? Okay, yeah, the principles that we have, you might have your own principles, but just the way that we've decided to, you know, work together, we've always decided that we should never sleep on our anger. So if we have an argument, we shouldn't go to bed, you know, being angry with each other. Go to bed being angry. Really and truly, you shouldn't go from morning to night being angry with each other, but, you know. Yeah, I guess guess it's it's, when when did it happen? Yeah. When did it happen? Say, for example, now, if it happened that... 11 p.m. Mm. The good thing is, if it happens at 11 p.m. and we sleep at 12 midnight, the good thing is, we know that we have to resolve before 12 midnight when we want to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> but if it happened at 11 a.m. But if it happened at 11 a.m., so it might be that it might carry on uh, for for half of the day, yeah, which is not too good. Not However, good so we have that one, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we have don't go to bed angry at each other. So usually, so we are angry. We've had the fight. We've had whatever. You know, and then when we get to bed, when we're about to lay down, she either brings it up or I bring it up. Usually, maybe we'll just lay down. We're probably, probably, we're probably quiet for the first five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I've heard that. Like, I don't know where I've heard it from, but someone, well, it must have been some kind of pastor that said that a couple shouldn't have no more than a double bed. So they can't roll away from each other. So if you're vexed, vexed with each other, like... Well, if you want to have a single, you can have a single. <laughs> so that when you get into bed, like you can't avoid the person. You can't avoid the person. But so, if you if you have the king size, uh, you, know, that's, you can can still like you can four go people. To your side, you yeah. can now go to your you side or go, go to, to my side. Okay, okay, that's really good. I've so, not heard that. Before. So yeah. So you're on the bed. It's a double bed. So there's not much space. For example, like we said, you know, we just resolved one last night or yesterday. 
Okay, so I went into bed and obviously I was laying down, you know, backing her. She was backing me as well, so I just faced my side. That's the position of bed. <laughs> I faced my side, and she <laughs> faced her side. Do you understand? And then obviously I was waiting for her because I knew that she was going to bring really? it up. Really? But if she didn't bring it up, too. I was going to bring it up. So and obviously she now said, whatever, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what, like what you did. <laughs> yeah, I don't like what you did. Just to say blah, 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 blah. And you know what? We talked about it. Mm. Okay? So we talked about it and then we went, okay, so that's fine. So that's the first thing, yeah. not going to bed angry at each other, mm -hmm. okay? And the second thing um, for us, or the second principle, is that we resolve the conflict before going out to the public. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay? So we have a fight now this morning, you know, and you know you can fight about anything. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can have, we've had stupid arguments, we've had silly arguments. You know, from things as serious as, oh, you called me a name, mm -hmm. you know, to things as petty as, you use my charger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. No. That's, That's you. That's you. You know, That's you me. use my telephone, my, 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 my mobile phone, phone charger, yeah. you know, or, or you took it from where I kept it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Very silly. And that argument can go on for two hours, yeah. three hours, yeah. for nothing. Because of charger, simple charger. Mm. And that's what these uh, phones and these mobile phones and That's why I say internet. husband and wife should just share one phone. <laughs> you might want to take that. Mm. It might be a solution. Well, no, there will be more fights. Because you say, it's my turn to use the phone. He says, no, it's my turn. <laughs> and then will you not be receiving my call? Yes, I'm your wife. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so, before we go out, mm -hmm. okay. So, if, let's say, for example, we've had an argument. We want to go to church. You know, or we've had an argument, we want to go for a party. Now, if we take our anger and everything with us, it just creates a negative vibe. It creates a negative vibe. Apart from that, people will see as well that, okay, these two are not okay. Mm -hmm. And we can tell, usually when I go out, I can tell, even if I don't know you as a couple, yeah. I can tell when a couple is having an argument. I can tell when they're not friends. Yeah. It doesn't look too good. And it's awkward. It creates, yeah. it creates an awkwardness in that circle yeah. because your friends can now not be free or the people around you will be now stepping on eggshells because of baggage that you've brought you've from brought home. exactly so basically i think that's it the summary is leave the baggage at home mm. so basically deal with it before going out yeah so and that's one of our principles as well that we've been working with so we deal with it before going out yeah. before going public okay fire on what's the last principle oh the last principle is it the last principle there's a lot of principles there's a lot of principles but this is our you know, okay, our yeah. major ones yeah, that we yeah. really try to stick to. Mm -hmm. When we have an argument or when we have any issues, we try as much as possible, you know, within reason to keep it between ourselves. Yeah. We don't really like telling other people what's going on. Yeah. I mean, obviously, within reason, I mean, there gets to some a point in marriage and obviously everyone prays not to have that point. Mm -hmm. But it gets to a point where you might feel like, oh, it's breaking point And, you know. Yeah. Uh, and maybe you don't want to be with this person anymore. You actually do need to seek counsel, Advice or counsel, uh, counsel yeah, yeah. from uh, uh, for what we would say is from someone with godly intention. Yeah, without a third party. And just to add on to that, the reason that particular principle is very important is because your marriage is is a gift that God's given you, and you need to shield and you need to protect that gift. Mm. When you keep on going out to other people and telling them the negatives about your marriage, one, they're not going to respect your marriage. Two, they're definitely got, not going to respect your spouse. Mm. And three, when you have forgiven your spouse, they might not forgive your spouse. Mm. You know, they'll always hold that against you. So that's. I have to clap. I have to clap. I have to clap. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, yeah, that that's why that one is very particular. Yeah. That's why it's very important. It's not because we feel like, oh, you know, we can sort everything out between yeah. ourselves. Because most time you might not. But you mm. know, if you really do need counsel, speak to God first. Yeah. That's 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 the only person, that's the only third person that should be in your marriage. I love so. that. I love that. So, thank you, baby. Nice. Mm. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> moving on from that. Um so still about the principles, okay? Now there's something I always draw on and there's something, there's a principle that I believe in, mm -hmm. okay? Now I'm gonna go a bit spiritual now. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go a bit spiritual to explain this one, mm -hmm. okay? Now let's talk about physics. Physics wasn't one of my best subjects. 
Well, as you can see, it wasn't one of mine either. Physics, why do you even do physics? You're not a science student. Uh, all of them want science, isn't it? Biology, physics, and what's the last one? Chemistry. Uh. Um, but no, when you now break up, or when you're now... Oh, when you're smart science, you now break out. You now break out. You understand? Yeah. So I was in a science class, you know, and you know, as a science student, you know, we're very calculative. You know, we make intelligent guesses. Mm. You know, there's a lot about being a science student, okay? So if you're a science student, kudos to you. Well done. If you're not a science student, you don't know book. <laughs> so talk about physics, yeah. I remember growing up, we learned about Newton's laws. Okay? Now I just want to draw on one of the laws, which is the third law. So it's Newton's laws of motion. Okay. Is that Isaac Newton? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isaac Newton. So there are three laws. The third law of motion states that for every action, okay, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Okay. So for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And what that means basically is, if, 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 if yeah, there's an action, if you put something in, mm -hmm. okay, what is going to come out or the result will be equal to what you put in. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And now, if you bring this back to conflict, to resolving conflict or conflict management, this is just about things you say or what you do. So if you do something or you say something, Expect <laughs> that you can get the same back. back. Yeah. Okay. So, and what that means is, is just, you know what? Yeah. So I'm saying, if I say something to you, let's try and do something. Let's just try and do a little acting. I know you're an actor. Girl can act. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do a little acting. I got so extra in drama, you know. In oh, did you? Yeah. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder. So full of drama. Okay, so I just want to play, do a role play, mm -hmm. a very short role play, mm -hmm. okay? And um, I don't know if I'm still thinking of a scenario, but then I just want to draw out this action and reaction. Okay, let's take, for example, you t let's do the charger stuff. So you took my charger, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for my charger now, and I don't mm -hmm. know where it is. Oh, where are <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not going to do yes, sir. Yes, when you call me on where I'll be like, yes, sir. Okay. Okay, I mean, yes. Where's my charger? Why did you take my charger? What? Why did you? I've told you two million times. Don't touch my charger. Don't ever touch my charger. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to hear anything from you. Don't touch my charger. Oh my god. Where's my charger now? On top of a charger. I can see that you're very stupid. Uh, uh, I'm stupid. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. I can see that you're very stupid. Okay, let me be behaving stupid then. I don't no. know where your charger is. No, I can see that you're very stupid. Okay. Because if you listen, mm. you get me right. You, you wouldn't do what I told you not to do. Okay. Alright. You know I'm not going to listen to you if you call me names. So when you want to address me nicely and properly... No, if you act stupid and you act stupid, I will, I will okay, tell you cool. that you're stupid. Okay, and you're cool. Silly. No problem. I'm stupid. I'm silly at me. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll still okay. look for your charger. Okay, okay, so that's the scenario. Mm. Okay, now she was being nice, which no, 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 no. I was being sarcastic. No. She was being sarcastic, you were being how you normally be. Mm. However, it could be a case of what I was expecting because I'm saying for every action, there's an equal and opposite. Mm. It's a case of if when I called you stupid, I should not think that she cannot call me stupid too. Okay, so if you're calling someone names, you should expect that they can call you names too, mm. and, and that's when you then feel the pain. So when I but say it depends on the character. That's though. what I'm saying. So yeah. it depends on the character. Your character is not like that. Yeah. You know, you don't have that character of calling names and of being rude. You know, you just try to, you know, uh, yeah, you do a bit of sarcasm and you do. <laughs> just shut down. Exactly. You just be like, okay. Exactly. Which, Which annoys you. Sometimes it's really annoying. <laughs> yeah. It's really annoying. Because you want a reaction from me. Exactly. Because I want that opposite reaction. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes. Although sometimes it's too harsh. I, I just hope I'm driving a point there now. Mm. You think it's making sense? Yeah, I okay. get what you mean. However, if I said baby, like the first, what I wanted to mm -hmm. do. Ah, oh, baby, have you seen my charger? Oh, baby, I think I used it, you know. You used it? Yeah. Uh, but I told you not to use it. Now. Okay. So well, at least even if you use it, can you just keep it back? Okay, my bins. I'll get it for you. Okay, thanks. Simple. Two minutes. Not two even minutes. two minutes, two seconds. And there was no name calling. <coughs> uh, that's because... <coughs> I came in a nice way. Nice vibes. Nice vibes. So by calling her baby, first of all, it's even good enough. So even if I'm angry, as long as I haven't said, baby, but I told you not to touch my charger. Do you understand? But if I say, oh, baby, don't touch that charger. 
So it's two different things. Mm -hmm. So for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Mm -hmm. I hope that one has, has sunk. Yeah. Now, the other thing I wanted to draw on, still on physics, like I said, I'm going spiritual, is... You're going scientific. Is it scientific? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've been saying spiritual. I was expecting scripture. Okay, scientific. I just want to talk about elasticity. <clears throat> okay? Mm. There's a law of elasticity. Mm. We did that in physics as well. And basically, my understanding or the summary of that is that there's stress and there's strain, okay? So when an object is overstressed or overstrained, then it breaks its elastic limit, mm. okay? And then obviously, there's a damage. Definitely. Now, everyone has their elastic limit. Not me, because I'm figure eight. I don't, <laughs> I don't stretch and I don't stretch. What are you saying? <laughs> everyone has their elastic limit. Everyone has their, how, how much they can be stretched. Yeah. Okay. The limit that you can push them to. Yes, the limit that you can push them to. Okay. And now, if this limit, now th this is where a line is being drawn. Okay. Because if they exceed that limit, sometimes it could lead to breakup. Mm -hmm. If that limit is exceeded, it could lead to divorce, which mm -hmm. we don't want. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's understanding that limit and not making an argument or a conflict get to that limit. Because mm -hmm. when you get to that limit, that's the breaking point. Yeah. It's just like that, one of those, your vest top that you had. You had this vest top for about six years. Please throw it away. This thing was slapped. <laughs> it has gotten to its elastic <laughs> limit. <laughs> it was You're slapped. So I said, please throw it away. Why are you holding on to it? She said, no, I like it. I will buy you another one. No, I like it. Until this thing now finally tore. It actually came out on the washing machine. Tore. <laughs> so... Just imagine someone like Stressed that now. Stressed and strained. <laughs> imagine someone like that that is now, you come out torn. Oh my God. You know, because of an argument, because of a conflict. So resolve it before mm. it gets to that stage. Recognize when you're in a relationship, you have a certain kind of, I want to say power for want of a better word. I, you know, I always say to you, baby, like, you're the person that I know you love me, but I, it's, no, you're the person yeah, that... that can, Make you happy. Yeah. At the same time. You can make me so angry because yeah. you've known that person and because you've known that person, you have you actually have the knowledge and power to push their buttons. Mm. So obviously as a spouse, as a good spouse, you shouldn't make you shouldn't use that to your advantage mm. and to your spouse's disadvantage. You know what annoys them, you know what pees them off, you know what gets on their nerves. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Simple. You do push mm. sorry. So there's a button. Mm. Sometimes it's the mumu button. The mu mm. And what that means eh, for, for people that are not Nigerian, the mumu button is basically the button that you press, you know, to turn your to some turn someone into a fool. Mm. So basically, you know, I know what to do, you know, to make her act a fool for me. Mm. I know what to do to break her down. Mm. I know what to do. Do you understand? So it's you can use it in a nice way, you know, but don't use it to the disadvantage. Of your spouse. Exactly. I think so that's, use that's it to make there. her happy. Yeah. Use it to make her feel like she's proud, she's your wife. Don't use it to anger her, to annoy mm. her, to disrespect her, to yeah. call her out in public. So yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Good. I think I've even learned a few from, 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 from this dis discussion, which is really good mm. for me. Do you understand? So I'm going to go back, listen to the video, take out some key lessons and some key points, and also actually see what we said. Maybe we even said rubbish. You understand, but I don't believe it's rubbish. I hope someone, you know, I, against all um, all the laughing and all the talks, you know, I'm truly really trying to drive this point out. Yeah, there. definitely. You know, it's because of the passion that we have, mm -hmm. okay, for for this relationship and marriage thing. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you've learned one or two things. Like I said, there's going to be a part two where we now go into the nitty gritty. We now yeah. go, you know, into deeper, a bit more detail. Deeper. That sounded a bit sexual. Clear your mind. That sounded a bit sexual. Please. You guys know what I'm saying anyway. You said I, deep part. Say, like uh -huh. So we're just going to just say we're just going to go. <laughs> we're just going to go a bit deeper. Okay. Okay, we're going to go a bit deeper. Uh -huh. Not <laughs> into this discussion. And hopefully you want to hear it. And hopefully you learn one or two things. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you for listening. You. As Thank always, you. like, subscribe, like, subscribe, comment, comment. Be Let's nice. know what you want to hear. And be nice, okay? Mm -hmm. And remember, yeah, be nice to your spouse this week. Yeah. Say something nice. Try not to have any arguments. Try not to have any arguments. You got maybe just a little disagreement, but then you just kiss and make up. Yeah. Like two seconds. And we'll be talking about all of these in the part two. So, bam! Watch out for part two. 
Bye. <laughs>